Hi there, I'm Teaspoon, and this is Taspoon, the series where I pioneer my own path progressing an old school RuneScape Iron Man account. The goal? To complete the collection log. The catch? I have to do it one randomly generated task at a time. Welcome to Taspoon. Okay, so here we go. Black Mask. Um, I'm going to assume anyone that's played RuneScape before knows what a Black Mask is, but those that don't, gives a 16.67% attack and strength boost against monsters that you are currently on a Slayer task for. Really, really good. <laughs> for those that don't know, it is an incredible item, and you will wear it 100% of the time while you are doing Slayer, uh, or you'll turn it into a Slayer Helmet and then wear that. But you need the Black Mask to turn into a Slayer Helmet, so yeah. Uh, you get it from killing Cave Horrors, which are a Slayer monster that you need 58 Slayer, which I don't have, so the majority of the beginning of this video is just going to be me grinding Slayer, which is fine, going to need to do that eventually anyway. And you need to have access to Muscle Harmless, which we just so happened to do... Uh, two videos ago, we did Cabin Fever, so we've already done that. The only requirement we need left is 58 Slayer. So, we're gonna go do some Slayer. Okay, time to restart the Slayer grind. Um, I currently have an Ankus in the Catacombs task, so I will do that first. I don't remember where Ankus are down there. I can use that a uh, shortcut, which is nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go do my Anku's task, and then I haven't quite decided what I want to do uh, in terms of Slayer Masters. Before, I was doing Turiel point boosting, where you get nine tasks from Turiel and then go to Konar for uh, the tenth task for bonus points. That is definitely not the best way to get Slayer experience, but I might end up doing that for a few more points. I have a couple things I want to unlock. And, yeah, I, I haven't quite decided yet, but first things first, I gotta do this task. It's gonna be my 50th task, which is gonna get me 270 Slayer points. And then I already sort of have a plan for what I want to buy with them when I'm done. I'll let you know if anything interesting happens. Alright, this is gonna be my last kill. Uh, really nothing interesting happened other than I got a tooth half key, which is nice because I have like four or five loops and this is my first tooth, so I'll be able to get another dragon stone and make that into like a combat bracelet probably is gonna be the next thing I make because maybe a skills necklace. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, this is gonna be my last kill. No brimstone keys, no ancient shards, no dark totem pieces. Kind of sad, but... There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, I take it back. <laughs> One dark totem piece. I have decided that I'm going to go to Chaildar, and that's how I'm going to pronounce the name, because I really don't know. But I'm going to go to Chaildar for my tasks in between my point tasks, and then I'm going to go to Konar for every tenth task. Uh, reason being, Chaildar is the closest but yet, e like, easiest monster is assigned. I don't know. It's kind of hard because, like, Neve would be really hard. First of all, I can't even do Neve until I get one more combat level. But if I was getting Neve task, they'd be very difficult and very slow. I think Chaildar is kind of the happy medium of, I have a good way to get there by going to the Kandran Monastery with the Arty Cloak and then taking the Fairy Ring to Xanaris and going here. Super quick. Can get tasks. And... Not super difficult, but still high enough level that the monsters will give decent Slayer XP. I really don't know, but this is just sort of what I was feeling. Uh, first of all, I want to talk about Slayer points. Uh, as you can see from that last task, I got 270 Slayer points, so I'm at 322, which is great. I've already unlocked Bigger and Badder for Superiors. That was sort of my first priority. And the next three things I want to unlock are all right here. Uh, broad Fletching, Ring Bling, and Malivin Masquerade. So this is to be able to make Broad Arrows and Broad Bolts, this is to make the Slayer Helm, and this is to make Slayer Rings. If I had 75 crafting already, I would just snap by bling, Ring Bling and make a bunch of Slayer Rings, because they are amazing. Unfortunately, I really don't have a way to get 20 crafting levels right now. So I'm going to hold off on that. I don't actually have 400 points, so I can't get this yet. 
And even if I did, I don't think I need it. Um, obviously, I'll need the black mask to make the Slayer Helm, so I shouldn't even really care about it right now anyway. So that just leaves one left. I think I'm going to do broad fletching. Uh, like I said, I have all those headless arrows in the bank. I just need some money and I can buy the broad arrow tip packs and then just make some broad arrows in my free time. Uh, the main reason for this is I have enough, or I have a high enough range level that I can actually use the rune crossbow now. And I need to get, I believe it's 69, yeah, 69 fletching to make it. And I got the rune limbs from Drange Archaeologist. So I think this is going to be the way that I get my fletching training to make the rune crossbow to use for range. So, gonna unlock broad fletching. I don't know if this is the right move, but it's what I feel like doing. Now I'm going to get a slayer task. Trolls. Okay, I can do that. For anyone that doesn't know the broad arrowhead packs that I'm talking about, you can just buy them for coins from a slayer master. And they give, I believe it's 100 broad arrowheads. Not a lot for 5,500 coins, to be honest, because I'm kind of poor right now. But if I had more money, I would just buy a bunch of these and make a bunch of arrows. Uh, I'm going to buy some for now, although, like I said, it is not going to be a lot because I do not have a lot of money. But I'll, I'll just buy some so I can show you what I'm talking about. So, if you just imagine that instead of 500, I have 137,000 uh, broad arrowheads, I could just leave both these in my inventory, and anytime I'm running anywhere, just make sets of arrows. It gives a lot of experience. It's 10 per arrow, and I mean, I, I know you can't see the XP per hour, but it's very good and very fast. Not to mention, these arrows are going to be probably what I use when I'm trying to, like, AFK train range. They are in between Mithril and Adamant, which are pretty good for how easy they are to get. And, I mean, you can see how quickly this is going up. This is incredible XP and uh, stackable, so I can take it when I'm doing anything else, when I'm just, like, running around. Common methods are, like, doing agility. You just make arrows while you run. So, this is kind of why I stacked up all these arrowheads to begin with, or all these headless arrows, rather, to begin with. Uh, this is going to be my fletching training for forever, really. I mean, until I use up all my arrows, which even still, like I said, I have 137 headless arrows. I still have 162,000 arrow shafts, so I just need money, really. Here we are, back at my best friend, the nature rune chest. Uh, I'm watching uh, I'm watching the melee tournament Shine 2022 is on right now, and kind of want to pay attention to it. Don't really want to be prey flicking trolls for two hours straight while trying to pay attention to the stream, so... Just gonna sit here, alk all these gold bracelets that I have, and, uh, yeah. I'm rich! Uh, yeah, alked all those gold bracelets. Uh, probably gonna steal a few more nature runes before I go back to Slayer so that I can have some alks for Slayer. But, yeah, I'm also probably gonna go and spend all that money on broad arrow tips and make my arrows, so... Well, I've been doing some Slayer. Uh, I think I've done, I don't know, a few tasks since I last updated you. Got up to 50 Slayer, and I actually got an Infernal Mages task, so I'm back here again. Okay, I've killed like three of them, and I got another hat. Oh well, would you look at that. Another hat. Uh, I am on, that was my second to last kill. I was actually just about to start recording and talk about this task, but cool, another hat. Uh, yeah, so this is the part of the Slayer grind that gets pretty slow. Uh, as you can see here, I got 9,420 experience. I'm getting about 11k XP per hour. So, yeah, considering that that's only one level right now, and it's going to go up and up and up for the next seven levels, this is probably going to take me, mm, if I had to guess, maybe 10 to 12 hours. Maybe even more, actually, depending on what tasks I get. So, this is probably going to be the only task that I get done in this video. But, hey, uh, Black Mask is a huge upgrade, so I really don't mind. And I like Slayer. Uh, I've, you know, I've maxed Slayer multiple times, so... Yeah, this is fine. Finally, I got a task that I don't need to pray flick for, like, an hour and a half straight. Uh, I used to hate Lizards as a task, because there's no good task to do, really. All there was was like the desert lizards that you had to use the things on and it was awful. But sulfur lizards are great and they actually have some interesting stackable noted drops that you can kind of just accumulate throughout your task and they don't do that much damage. And when they do damage I can just use bones to peaches so this is awesome.
All right, finish my lizard's task. Gonna go ahead and grab a Konar task uh, for no other reason than I'm right here and it's convenient. So let's see what we get. 50 anchors and catacombs. Wow, I feel like I just did that task. All right, another Anku task and another nothing interesting happening unless I get another dark totem piece on my last kill. Okay, well, anyway. Um, yeah, what was I doing? Traildar. Let's go. Oh my goodness! This is my first Superior Slayer monster since I unlocked the thing like 8,000 years ago. Uh, cool! Uh, it's a cockatrice, so like, I don't know. I guess I could still drop the rare drop stuff, like the that gem and the mute heart and uh, whatever battle staff, mist, dust, one of those battle staffs. So, yeah. Maybe we'll get one of those? Maybe? 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 Maybe I can kill it? Just hit like a one? Thank you? Nothing! But still fun. I am so tempted to skip this task. Oh, I was kind of expecting this to happen. Uh, yeah, I got some bronze boots. I already have iron boots, but that is technically a task to get the bronze boots, so... Yeah. Oh my goodness, I got another superior. Alright, it's been a bit since I've recorded a clip. Uh, just got 54 Slayer, got 75 Strength. Here, I'll show my levels here for you guys. Uh, yeah, it's pretty slow, and most of the tasks that I'm getting, I have to prayer flick, like, the whole thing, so I'm getting a little tired of it, but yeah, we're just gonna keep going. I think I might end up going and getting, uh, what's it called? The proselyte armor and making some prayer potion. Oh, a dark totem top. That's the second time I've started recording a clip and then got a drop. Okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Right, uh, I might go and get a couple more herb lore levels. I have a bunch of banked herbs that I just haven't done anything with. And then I might make some prayer pots and get some prayer bonus armor, proselyte, and holy symbol, and whatever else I can find. And then I can do tasks like this and just use some prayer pots and AFK in the middle of a bunch of them while I do other things. Uh, I'm almost done editing the last episode and I want to get it done, but I can't edit while I'm prayer flicking. So yeah, I might go and do that. Alright, here we go. 38 herb lore. Can make prayer potions, finally. Uh, I had a bunch of low-level herbs in my bank just ready to go, so I used them all. And I only actually have 41 renars, but I think I have some planted. So I'm going to go do a farm run and a birdhouse run, and then make some prayer potions. I'll have to go and get some snape grass, but that's easy. Make prayer potions. Get out as good a prayer gear as I can. Turns out, can't get proselyte yet. You need to Slug Menace, which you need 30 rune crafting, and that is the only skill that I don't have, so can't do that yet, but my prayer bonus is still okay. I wish I had a god book, but either way, yeah. I just got uh, a Spore Seed from this farm run, and the way it popped up, I thought it was a pet for a second, and I was very confused, but alright, cool, I guess, I don't know. By the way, I feel like a lot of people don't know about this spot, but if you need snape grass and you can't grow it yet or, you know, the seeds, uh, there's a spot at the tip of this peninsula that has 10 spawns that is very close to a bank and super easy to just collect a bunch. So that's why I'm here and I would recommend uh, you go here if you need snape grass yourself. Oh, hey, would you look at that? I got 69 magic, which uh, usually I would just say nice and move on, but this is actually an important level. Uh, I've been playing the World of Warcraft launch their WoW Wrath Lich King Classic servers and I've been playing with some friends and I needed something to AFK while I played and I decided to train my magic to 69 for a very important spell which is teleport to Karen Castle. I have been walking from my house. Let's see, where's Zaya? I've been walking from my house portal all the way up here every time I needed to go to the catacombs, which doesn't sound that bad. I mean, it, it doesn't look that far, but Zaya is huge, and this run takes so long 
that I was sick and tired of doing it for Slayer because like half the things that I actually want to kill are in Catacombs of Corrend. So having this spell will be awesome. I'll still need to go to the library and get the book to unlock it, but this is great. Uh, and I'm probably just going to keep fire striking this lesser demon to train my magic while I keep playing my other game. But yeah, uh, update on Slayer. I am 54, almost 55. Well, almost, you know. Um, yeah, that's about it. Something that's pretty convenient about this is because I have my Ring of Wealth on, it actually automatically picks up the coins drops that I get from the lesser demons. And then I have Telekinetic Grab if it drops anything actually useful. So I'm almost making back the money that I'm spending on runes here, training my magic. Not quite, but better than nothing. This is the first birdhouse run that I've done since I received this lovely comment that says, uh, can you put do your seaweed run in a blue green on tile near the last birdhouse you do? So here we go. Uh, I just want to point out that's an awesome comment. Uh, both relevant because I just unlocked birdhouse runs and topical because I should start doing seaweed runs, but I'm going to do that later. Nice. So currently I need a few things. One, I need money. And two, I need to be able to AFK. And obviously a really good way to get money is fletching longbows and either stringing them and then alking them or just selling them. I'm probably just going to sell them because I don't have a good way of getting any flax, but either way. Uh, and I need to be able to AFK, and chopping trees is great. <clears throat> really easy way to AFK, classic RuneScape strategy. My plan is to try and fletch some maple longbows to then sell for money. Get my fletching level up to be able to fletch U shortbows. Cut the U logs, fletch the U shortbows, sell them for money. Eventually, get a high enough fletching level that I can make a magic shortbow, which I can then use to AFK, more or less, uh, my Slayer experience when for mobs that I can save spot. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but it turns out that you need a magic shortbow or higher to be able to use broad arrows. I thought I was going to be able to use them with a U shortbow, but that, according to the wiki, does not work. So, really unfortunate. And the only other way I can get a magic shortbow is through hard clues, which I'm not doing any of right now. Although I have thought about that. It's a 1 in 19 to get a magic shortbow from hard clues, and somebody is sawing something outside my window. That's great. Um, yeah, I really need a magic shortbow. The only feasible way I can get one soon is to actually fletch it myself. And I need to AFK, and I need money. So everything is just sort of coming down to... I'm going to fletch some maple longbows while I play other games and do other things, do editing, whatever. And I don't know if I'll actually end up being able to get 85 for Magic Shortbow. That seems really high. Uh, I guess I could do 80 with a boost if I do the RFD thing. But yeah, for now, I'm just going to fletch some maple longbows and then go sell them. Okay, I have been doing a lot of AFK fletching here at the Woodcutting Guild, making maple longbows and then you shortbows. And, uh, I know it may not seem like that much, but if you look in the chat box here, I should be able to sell these to the general store on Karamja, I think it is, for, like, almost 500k, which is huge for me, considering how poor I am. Uh, I thought about trying to alk all these, but it would just take too long to steal all of the nature runes, and if I were to buy the nature runes, it would cut into the profits, so... Yeah, I'm going to go try and sell these. I'm going to try and sell, like, a little bit per world and hop. It's going to take a very long time, but we'll see how much money I come out with. Like I said, I've spent a long time doing this. I know it probably just cut in the video, but uh, I've been playing, like I said, I've been playing uh, Wrath of the Lich King Classic WoW with some friends, and this was sort of one of the things that I was able to do while I was just, like, AFKing. And, yeah, going to go sell these. Um, my new goal for the video, because I've given up on trying to get a black mask for the video, and I've almost given up on even just trying to get 58 Slayer, because that's going to take way too long. So, my plan for the video is to get a magic shortbow. I think I m might be able to if I just sell all of these, buy broad arrows, fletch the broad arrows, get 75 fletching... 70? Se or 80 or 75? What is it? Uh... It's 80, so yeah, I need to get 75 fletching, and then make a magic shortbow. That's the plan. 
The main reason that I want the Magic Torpo is there's so many of these Slayer tasks that I'm doing that I'm needing to pray flick melee because I'm trying to kill them with melee. But if I just had a good ranged weapon, I could easily just safe spot them and almost completely AFK and kill them. Which would be super convenient and speed up the tasks a lot in terms of like, I could edit and do other things while I do the tasks. So, Magic Torpo is actually working towards the Slayer goal, although it's kind of a roundabout way. But, yeah, here we are at the shop. Uh, oh, that's unlucky that I'm trying to sell Maple short or maple Longbows and they're already there. Ooh, yikes. Um... I hope that's not on Everworld, but I'm going to be selling probably 10 of these at a time. How much does that go down? Oh boy, yeah. So I'm going to try and sell 10 of these at a time. As you can see, there are a lot of other people that use the shop, including some bot who's right here doing it right now. Yeah, I'm going to try and sell these 10 at a time and then hop worlds, and we'll see how long this takes me and how much money I get. Okay, so I was doing all my selling at that other store. And I realized that I was not going to get nearly as much money as I wanted. It was going to take forever. And because I wasn't going to get as much money, I wasn't going to get enough fle fletching XP. So instead, I'm going to pick a few thousand flax and spin them into bowstrings, like it is legitimately 2007. And then I'm going to either sell or alk the strung bows, which will sell and or alk for more. And I'll get the fletching XP for actually stringing them, so I'll need less money in the long run. Uh, I actually don't know why I didn't think of this sooner, to be honest. This really is the thing that makes sense to do, but yeah, we're going to try that and see how far that gets us. I just missed it, but nice. Alright, last inventory of bows to string. I'll show you what I've got going on here. Uh, this should sell for, I'm going to guess, about half of what the high elk value ends up being based on the way I was selling them before, which is still, like, a lot of money <laughs> compared to what I'm used to on the account. So, yeah, that'll be what I go and do first, and then we'll see how many broad arrow tips I can buy with the money. Alright, back at the Karamja General Store. I've already done quite a few hops here, but... I'm noticing there's a lot less worlds with a bunch of bots selling stuff, filling up the general store. Uh, I don't know if it's just that I'm playing on less peak hours right now or what, but... Uh, yeah, I actually haven't had any worlds yet where I couldn't sell my stuff for the full price that I'm selling for, which is I'm selling 10 U's and 5... Well, this is the first world. Shouldn't have said anything. Uh, selling 10 U short bows and 5 maple long bows per world. Uh, yeah, I'm actually getting a little bit more than I thought I was going to. So, uh, I'm going to end up with mm, probably, well, I don't know. We'll see. Alright, just finished selling all of my bows. I am rich and I'm about to go spend all of my money and become poor. But that's totally fine. I realize now that I actually don't have... 75 wood cutting yet for magic trees and I wonder if I have magic logs one sec magic lo no hmm all right so I might end up just getting maybe another wood cutting level and then trying to find a boost or I don't know I, I know there's other ways I could get magic logs but we'll have to see about that first let's go get broad arrow tips and make some arrows so I'd be lying if I said that uh, this was more than I thought I'd get. This is actually quite a lot less in terms of the amount of actual experience I'm going to have. Um, I'm definitely going to get to 71. I don't know if I'm going to get to 72. And the goal was 75. So, you know, in the end it might be okay because I'll need to go back to woodcutting, which I'll need to... Uh, I'll need to go back to woodcutting to get 75 woodcutting to get the magic logs, which I can fletch the logs while I woodcut to get the fletching XP. Uh, I might actually do use and bows again, depending on how much AFKing I need to do. I might do maples and bows. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I will definitely have to go back to the woodcutting guild and start chopping logs, um, in which case I'm going to save some money so I can buy a rune axe. Or I'm going to go to the Enchanted Valley or whatever it is and kill nature spirits for... Or tree spirits, whatever they're called. 
because I will need a rune axe because admin axe is slow. I'm rambling again. I'm just going to end the clip whenever. I did just get level 70 fletching, which is going to mean I can make you longbows, which would drastically increase the profits. So I probably will end up doing yous for my woodcutting and fletching training and make a bunch more money. Another benefit to actually stream the bows and then selling them, other than obviously the increased uh, fletching XP, is I get a little bit of crafting XP, although pretty negligible in the long run. Uh, I'm right at those few levels where I'm just getting past where I can make some actually usable armor. Um, and I have very little range armor right now. So if I could get 60 or even, you know, I, I just got 56 so I can make all the snake hide armor if I want to go get some snake skin. So yeah, I think overall this is going to increase my, uh, my range damage output by a lot. I thought the rune axe was 30k, it's 40k. Alright, I bought myself a rune axe. I don't really know how much of a difference it'll make, but I figure for how long I'm going to be spending here, for how long I've already spent here, probably should have already bought one, but for how long I'm still going to be spending here, probably going to be worth it. I guess you guys already know this based on the title and the thumbnail, but this has officially become the magic short bow episode in my mind. Uh, I will not end this episode until I have a magic short bow and I am using it to kill monsters with my broad arrows for Slayer experience. That's the goal. And a little update here, I'm at 859U long bows, which once I string them will sell for <laughs> a lot of money. Um, I think the high elk value goes up to like 700 something, so... Yeah, and I'm not even really close to done. I need to make about 500 more before I get 75 wood cutting. So, yeah. Also, part of my goal of not finishing the episode until I get a magic short bow is also to get some ranged armor. I think I mentioned it before, I can make some snake hide armor, which is probably going to be what I end up doing. I don't think I'm going to get that many more crafting levels. I might be able to make, like, green dehyde vam braces or something, but I don't even know if that's going to be better than my recipe for disaster gloves figure that out later, but yeah. Part of the magic shortbow grind is also going to be getting some decent range armor. I'm just now realizing how uneventful this episode's going to end up being. I mean, don't get me wrong, magic shortbow is a huge unlock for me, but in terms of what I'm actually showing you guys, I'm really just cutting trees, fletching... I mean, I guess I had some slayer tasks in the beginning, but... Hopefully it's not too boring for you guys. This has actually taken me quite some time to do, so uh, I know it's it's going to be a little bit later than I want and a little bit, again, less, uh, less eventful than I'd hoped for, but it'll be big in the long run, so yeah. Alright, big level coming up here. As soon as we chop one more log, please chop a log. Hello? Chop a log so I can continue the clip, please, game? It's a slow user. Hey, there we go. 75 wood cutting. Can now cut down a magic trees. Uh, I'm gonna stay here for a little bit longer. I need a few more bows and then I'm going to go and get all the flax and string it or spin it into bow strings and then string all my bows and then go sell them and then go buy more broad arrow tips and then make those arrows and then maybe I'll have 75 and then I'll get a boost and then I'll make a short bow and I'll go and kill things. And just because I'm already here I'm going to get my logs for my short bow now. This might take forever at 75 wood cutting with the rune axe, but yeah, I'll get these logs. I'm gonna get a few extras too for a couple other things I need them for, but yeah, this will be my magic short bow. Okay, again, without doing any math, just sort of feel like I've done enough bows. I'm gonna go and pick my flax, spin my bow strings, and string some bows. We will see how far it'll get me. It'll get me halfway through level 73-ish. Uh, just based on what I can see on my Runelight XP tracker. And then the money that I get should be enough to just buy a bunch of broad arrow tips and get the level. So yeah, probably won't show any of it because it is exactly what you're seeing on screen right now times uh, a thousand. 
And that's not very interesting. So yeah, I'll see you in like four hours. So I was just now looking on the wiki and I may have been completely misinformed about the Karamja General Store. So it says here that you need to have Karamja Gloves 3 in order for it to do what I thought it was doing. So I think I'm going to try to go to the West Artie store if I'm reading the wiki right. That's the store that I can access that'll actually buy my bows for the most. I don't know how botted that's one, that one's going to be, but yeah, I think I was just going to that Karamja store for no reason. I don't know, it's confusing, but yeah, I think we need to go to the West Artie store this time. Also, I just want to say that uh, you longbows are so much more valuable than any of the other bows that I was making. And it really shows in the stack price. Uh, let me just finish this and examine this to show you. Uh, holy crap, that's so much money. I've done it. 1,396 of the finest U long bows have been strung. Uh, that being worth in high alks over a million gold, which would be awesome, although I'm not going to do that. I'm probably going to get like 700k, but still pretty cool. I have been painstakingly selling these bows, three, maybe four per world to get as much value as I can out of it, which means to sell 1,400 bows, it's taken me about 350 to 450 world hops. Uh, this took forever, but if you look at the cash stack in the bottom right corner of my inventory, almost a million coins, which is pretty darn good. Um, I'm hoping that will be more than enough to get my, uh, fletching level that I need via buying broad arrow tips. We'll find out. I didn't do any math, but we're finally done and I can go find out. All right. Well, I did the math. And as you can see here, I've been making some arrows, buying the rest of my arrow tips. I am at 74. I just hit 74. And I did the math. I need 11,415 broad arrow tips to get to 75. And I have 10,655. So, didn't quite nail it, but really freaking close. Uh, I think for the rest of my fletching XP, I'm just going to make a few more bows. Uh, I'm going to do all these arrow tips, then I'm going to make a few more bows, string the bows, sell the bows, so I actually have some money left over, because this is all of my money, and then I'll have 75 fletching and some money, and then we can go and do the Evil Dave RFD quests. I think I have to do some pre-quests and then the quest itself. Uh, fortunately, I saved a cat uh, that I didn't trade in for death runes, so I can actually do the uh, RFD quest without hating myself. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to make these arrows, go and make those bows, string the bows, sell the bows, go and do the pre-quest, go into the Evil Dave quest, get the boost, make the bow, make some armor, end the episode. Alright, 17,000 broad arrows made, 7,500 XP away from the level I need, feeling good. Uh, I'm going to go and get that real quick, and then do the quests. And there we go, 75 fletching. We've done it. Uh, as another added benefit from this, I can actually go ahead and make my rune crossbow, which is also good for ranging, but not quite in the same way. Uh, I don't have any, what's it called? M sinew stuff, meat. But I can go ahead and, oh, I need a knife for this. Uh, go ahead and get a U log and make a U crossbow, whatever it's called, stock. And yeah, go ahead and make the rune crossbow and then go and do my other things. So I'm going to do that. Make myself a crossbow stock. Put that on there. Need a hammer to do that. I didn't know that. And I don't know. I guess I can just go and get some meat from somewhere. Uh, hammer, bing, bang, boom, runite crossbow U, and let's just go to Lumbridge and get some meat. Here we go, making myself some sinew, and then I go over to the spinning wheel, I believe, to turn it into a crossbow string. Uh, one of these, crossbow string sinew, there we go. 
And put that on there. And Rune Crossbow acquired. Heck yeah. Now, the Rune Crossbow is great for a lot of things, uh, but unfortunately not the best for sort of like consistent killing things like I'm going to be trying to do with Slayer. Uh, partially because it's a slower tick weapon and partially because the ammo is kind of harder to come by. The broad bolts are uh, more expensive and I don't really have any other way of getting good bolts for anything. So other than I do have some mithril bolts that I made for something somewhere in here. But uh, there they are. Uh, but yeah, still want to get that magic short bow. Going to be a lot more consistent damage and a lot easier because I already have all the ammo for it. Now... Like I said, I need to get a plus 5 boost, which the only way... There's Dragon Fruit Pie, which is level 4 boost, but I can't even make that. So, yeah, this is the only only way I can get a boost. So, I'm going to do the Evil Dave sub-quest, which needs Shadow of the Storm, which needs Demon Slayer and the Golem, both of which I haven't done. So, I'm going to need to go do those three quests, which should be pretty easy. I don't think they have any hard requirements for me. Uh, and then I'm going to do free Evil Dave, get a plus five boost, and make Shorebow. I'm rambling again. I'm ending the clip. One interesting benefit to doing all this is Shadow of the Storm is actually what unlocks Dark Light. Well, first you do Demon Slayer to get Silver Light, then you can do Shadow of the Storm to get Dark Light, and then you can combine Dark Light with three Ancient Shards, which I do have, I actually have seven of them from doing Slayer, into making an Arc Light, which I don't even think I can use. I'm pretty sure it's 75 attack. Yeah, Arc Light 75 attack. But that might be a good incentive to train my attack up to 75 instead of just going for all strength like I was currently, because Arc Light would be really good for killing demons, so that's something to think about. All right. First quest we gotta do is Demon Slayer. Uh, it's a pretty low level quest, so it's probably not gonna have any actual challenges, so probably not gonna show anything. We did it! Alright, got all my stuff ready to go ahead and do the Golem quest. I seem to remember this being fairly quick, and there's nothing to kill really, so should be pretty easy. Oh, that was it. I thought there was more to that quest. Uh, cool. Alright, here we go. Shadow of the Storm. I don't know why he just gave me another silver light. Maybe I wasn't supposed to dye this one black yet already, but okay. So I think I found a bug in this quest. Um... I have the dyed silver light equipped, but I think because I have this other silver light in my inventory still, he's saying that it's too shiny to be evil. So I bet if I drop this, then he'll let me in his uh right, oops, uh then he'll let me in his evil basement crew. Maybe. Love the evil black sword. Yeah, okay. Well, that's interesting. Cool. I can't remember the last time I killed this demon with not shitty weapons, so this is actually way easier than I remembered, and is going to be very quick. Uh, I just need to remember to do the last hit with uh, my dark light. Oop, put that on before I kill him accidentally. And one more hit, maybe? Easy clap. I'm gonna put this on range, I guess. And we're done. Nice. Alright, Evil Dave, let me help you out of here. So, for anyone that doesn't know how this quest works, uh, you go to Evil Dave's basement, you tell your cat to kill a bunch of hell rats, which drops spice, and then you have to guess and test the right combination and the right amount of each spice in the stew, and then when you find the right one, you go and give it to him at the frozen Cullinomancer dinner place, and then you're done. So, I just have to catch a bunch of rats, or kill a bunch of rats, get some spice, and make some stews, and hope I get it right. Alright, got a bunch of spices here. What you do is, you put one spice of one in, and you use it on him, and he tastes it, and I think you've got the amount of one spice right, but those are wrong. So I know there's one red in it, so I'm done with those. And then you do the same with orange, and then the same with yellow, and then the same with brown. 
Uh, nothing like, so I need at least two. And you just repeat this process until he says that you got it right for all four, and then you put all four of that amount in one, and then you're done. So I'm gonna do that. So, I believe I figured it out. One red, three orange, three yellow, and two brown. Okay, so when you make the right stew, he doesn't actually drink it, unlike all the other ones. So he, you can go and give it to him in Lumbridge. So that's less cringe than I thought it would be. Uh, so yeah, we're done with that. Now, I just need to actually get the boost, which means I'm going to need to get some more orange spice. But now I can use the giant rats in the little thing there, so I can guarantee get orange instead of just randomly hoping for it, which is nice. Uh, 7,000 cooking XP, not too bad. I can also buy better metal gloves, so that's kind of cool. So, once you finish the quest, you can access the Hell Rat Behemoths, where you just put your cat inside the thing, and then he fights the, the rat in there, and you can heal him by using food on the curtain. So you see how he took damage there? I gave him food. Oh, he took damage again. Give him food. He, he, he heals. There you go, he heals. And yeah, as long as you make sure your cat doesn't die, which it can, and that sucks, and I really hope I don't DC or something and have my cat die, uh, whenever it kills the Hell Rat Behemoth, it's guaranteed to drop a uh, four dose of the spice that you want. So yeah, I think it's a four dose. I don't actually know. It's definitely the spice that you want. This is the orange one in the northwest corner here. I think it's a four dose, so yeah. Just gonna do this until I get a bunch of spices. Well, yeah, you'll see what I do after this. So the way this boost method works is you use the spices on the stew, just like you did for the Evil Dave quest. And as you can see on the thing there, it'll either give you a plus or minus up to five boost on all the skills that this spice works for. So this is the fletching one. And all of those skills that you can see that I'm hovering over the spicy stew will either go plus or minus up to five. And so I'm hoping that it gives me a plus five fletching boost which I believe is not a very high chance. If I go to the wiki, uh, a plus five boost of the skill that you want is about an 8.3% chance. So not very likely, but maybe I'll just get on the first try. No, I got a plus one boost. So I'm just gonna do that uh, over and over again until I get lucky and get a plus five boost and then I'm gonna make my bow. Any Plus five boosters? Never lucky. Okay, but surely this time. No. Negative five boost. Just as common as a positive five boost, by the way. Uh, so what I'm going to do anytime that happens, because I don't want to sit here forever. Uh, I'm just going to go to Ferox and restore all my stats. And then try again, because I don't want to have to wait uh, like five minutes for that to restore. So if you just go in and out of the Soul Wars portal or the uh, Clan Wars portal, whatever Wars portal this is, uh, it refreshes all your stats, and then I can just run back to Edgeville by going through the Soul Wars portal in underneath Ferox. But I'm not going to need to, because I'm going to get the plus five boost right here. Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. Any spicy stewers? Uh, no, okay. Boosties? 80 fletching, we did it! Pog, 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 pog! Magic shortpo. Fletch, go! Nice! Making a few extra just to have them in my bank. Cool! Alright, and one of the last things I said that I wanted to do before I ended the episode was get some range armor upgrades. So I'm here at the Champions Guild, and I'm just gonna buy some green Dragonhide chaps and Van Braces. Uh, now that I think about it, I might have actually been able to make the Van Braces myself. But, mm, yeah, probably could have. Well, either way, they were only 2,500, so I guess I don't really care. And what else did I want to make? Oh, yeah, I wanted to make snakeskin boots, uh, hat, and or chest. I'm not quite sure. Um, let, me, let me figure that out, and then I'll, I'll inform you what my plan is. So, in terms of range armor, this is sort of what I have. Um, it's kind of terrible in terms of, uh, I need a necklace, I don't have a power in me, I don't have a glory, 
Uh, I don't have an amulet of accuracy, so that kind of sucks, but I don't have really any ranged chest, boots, or helmet. So I think I'm going to go kill a bunch of snakes and then make all three of those armor slots, which I believe I can already do. Uh, let me just make sure. Snakeskin boots, snakeskin bandana, snakeskin body. Yeah, so I can just go ahead and get a bunch of snakeskin, make all those slots, and then I am going to end the episode there. Alright, I think that's all the snake hide that I need. I'm going to get a couple more just in case I'm bad at math, but I can go and tan it and make my armor. Alright, Ellis, tan my hides in the least sexual way possible. <laughs> uh, make a uh, uh, snakeskin body, and we'll make uh, snakeskin boots, and we need to get another couple hideout for the bandana. Get some of these. Snakeskin bandana. Heck yeah. And here it is. My range slayer setup. You know, this is one of the reasons that I love this account. Because if you were to show someone this gear and say that it took them 60 hours to make it, they probably wouldn't believe you. But I get to do some creative things and work around problems that most people don't have. Uh... Yeah, I know it's kind of too bad that I didn't actually finish any tasks this episode, but you can mark my words, by the end of next episode, I will have a black mask.